showing filters in a chart. Here we have a chart and currently in my chart I can see all 12 months and all four regions. On the side of the chart, when you select the chart, you'll see three buttons. The last of these three buttons is called Chart Filters. Here you can go in and choose what points and names are visible on your chart. When I click on this button, I'll see a window appearing on the right, and I can see it's divided up into values and names. Hovering over these values will highlight them on the chart for you. So as I go down through the regions, Hovering over each region, it becomes the one that becomes highlighted on screen. The same with the categories. Hovering over each of the different categories will highlight that category for you. If I go in and let's say, for example, I turn off all series and just turn on regions, I can then click the apply button. And when I do that, I will only see that data on screen. So again, if I decide to show two regions, region one and region two, for the 12 months, then I press the apply button, it makes those changes on screen for me. Going across here into the second tab called names, it will show me that row three of my data is holding the series names and column A of my data is showing the category names. If I want to, I can click in here to select the data and it allows me go in and check to see what data is being used. Again, I can tick or untick the boxes and I can also go in and edit the ranges that are being used. So, for example, if I click here on region one, when I click on edit, I can see that it's getting the name of this series in B3 and it's getting the values of this series from B4 to B15. So if I want to, I can go in and make changes here. So again, clicking on the chart filters button allows you to decide what it is you'd like to see on the chart and then you can press apply or you can go in to select data to go in and change any of the data that's currently being used.